Now this problem deals with retirement questions, how much you have to save and how much do you, how, how are you going to save, it's going to be an annuity or a lump sum or how do you kind of work your way through these retirement kind of questions. Now in part C of this problem, it asks us what would happen if the reinvestment rate or the discount rate increased, that is they could earn a greater rate of return. Well if you, they could earn a greater rate of return, then the amount of money that they would have to invest in the retirement plan would go down. That is, you can put in less money if you're earning a greater rate of return. So that's the answer, Part C. Part D now, they're kind of combining uh, a couple of different kinds of problems you see in, re in, a, in a retirement situation. The first part of that equation, or that, that question rather, says if we earn 10% on all our money and we want to have $20,000 a year for 30 years in retirement, how much money would we have to have at the beginning of our retirement? And again, remember, this is an annuity problem. The big dollar amounts at the beginning of this $20,000 annuity. So we would use our PVIFA. And we're looking for the big dollar amount in this question. So $20,000 is the value of the annuity. You multiply that by your PVIFA at 30 and 10 percent. And if you go to your interest factor tables, you'll find that that interest factor is 9.4269. Multiply that by 20,000, you get $188,538. So if at retirement uh, we can earn 10 percent a year on our money and we have $188,538 in the account, from that account, we could withdraw $20,000 a year for 30 years. And again, at the end of the 30th year, when you take out that last $20,000 payment, there'd be nothing left in the account. The other part of this, of this problem says, well, we're not going to save for this retirement with a lump sum payment, making one payment in the account today. We want to save for our retirement by making equal annual payments into the account every year for 20 years. And they tell us again, we can earn 10% on our money. Now this is an annuity problem. You know, big dollar amount is going to be equal to some annuity times the appropriate interest factor. In this case, this is the amount of money that we need 20 years from now. And what we're asking is, what annuity would we have to save every year to get to that big dollar amount? So the big dollar amount's at the end of the annuity we are going to use our FVIFA table. Now you will want to look up your FVIFA with n equal to 20. That is, you're going to work 20 more years and you want to know how many payment, how, what your payment has to be every year for 20 years if you earn 10% a year on your, on your, on your money. 57.2750 is your FVIFA. Take your big dollar amount, 188,538, divide by 57.2750 and you get $3,291.80. So if you save $3,291.80 every year for 20 years and all your money earns 10% interest, 20 years from now you'll have $188,538. And from that account you could withdraw what? $20,000 a year for 30 years. And again, when you take out that 30th payment, the T30, the end of the 30th year, there'll be nothing left in the account. This is a retirement problem. This little problem here, this is the kind of thing that you see financial planners do a lot. And one of the key questions is, what's going to be the rate of return people earn on their money? It'd be great if it was 10% every year. Probably going to be something a little less than that in today's environment. But nonetheless, those are the fundamental kinds of questions that you ask in the financial planning process.